calculate the PCR uh, uh, template dilution recipe. So I give a R code uh, which is in zip file, and you need to download that and then extract it. This R code must be extracted uh, before you can use it. So I purposely made this. Uh, oh, where did it go? Let's see. After I extract it, I need to find out where the extracted file goes. Uh, that's today. Okay, I double click. Oh, it goes to the bottom some, somehow. And I double click that there. That's the template archive. Uh, open it with RStudio. Okay, my laptop is a little slow. All right, yeah, there you go. So, and this time I'm also going to output a file, so you want to make sure you know which directory you are working at. So again, uh, I want to set my working directory to the source file. Uh, once you do that, uh, you can list all the file. Uh, you should only see one file, uh, PCR recipe template. So if you recall, this directory is the same code I, we, we use for restriction enzyme uh, lab. That lab, we also did a dilution. But for that dilution, we use 100, nano, uh, 100 nanogram per microliter. For the PCR, PCI is much more sensitive than restriction enzyme and agarose gel by just uh, uh, running. So PCR, we, we need much less DNA. This time we do it 5 nanogram per microliter. So this is much, uh, much less, 20 times lower than the restriction enzyme analysis. So that's your, uh, the, the protocol says we need 5 nanogram per microliter for template DNA. And the protocol asks you to make 100 microliter. And you need to put some uh, concentration, your original concentration. So here I'm going to say what I see is when student is 753.5, uh, the other one is the 227.3, uh, the another one is 496.8. Okay, so, and then the rest of it is basically the same. Uh, and this is basically, uh, again, is a C2 times V2 divided by a C1, and that's your V1. And then I round up the number. So this line, line 20, is to round up the number. And then find out the uh, uh, water is for the remaining uh, 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 volume to make up the total of a hundred. So there, that's the recipe. And I can double check the total volume and then print it out. Uh, uh, let me print it out. Print out on the screen. There, that's the recipe. Let me see, is that the same with your answer? Okay, it's not the same, so you may need to double check. I don't know what's the difference. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, but then you can output the file. That, um, after you run that file, you go back to the folder you can see the output file. So the answer I got is different from the students submitted. So we need to double check what's going on here. So. Uh, 